tonight, a few minutes ago, David Churchill, and uh, David Churchill, who is the, basically the chief of staff of William Ruto, and Wanjoy Gedaya, who is the communications director of UDA, have, uh, have gone missing. They are, we, we suspect it's either an arrest, and with that we will demand that the police confirm if it's an arrest. But given that he was speaking to one of our staff when they got missing, we suspect and believe it's a kidnap. We cannot get Wanjoy Gedaya, we cannot get his driver, we cannot get Davis Chichi, who, have, who are, our team at Bomas confirms that they have just left them inside. And when they got outside, they cannot be found. We cannot switch them on phone. We suspect the arrest and police must demand. We, we demand that the police confirm the arrest. And if it's not, then it's a kidnap. And we therefore demand that first action be taken to, to get the, where, them where they are. Okay. Thank you so much. Denise Otunbi speaking to us here at the... Uh... Catholic University of Eastern Africa Auditorium there are making allegations that there are some members of the team, a Kenya Kwanza team, that have been arrested. So maybe we they continue talking to, to social media. They have not been we need to say that, uh, as that as now, we need to find where Davis Chilchil right is, where Davis Chilchil is, and where Wanjoy Gedaya, the head of communications for the UDA, is. As you realize, the media, even the nation itself, cannot, when we break news, if this was a chief staff at the Raira Odinga, the media would be rolling it live throughout. But as you can see, immediately we got into the media, they withdraw. We suspect and believe that the police have a part in this kidnap. Because it is the police who are in charge of bombers. How can you get arrested or kidnapped within bombers and not communicate? If it is an arrest, we demand that the IG of police immediately comes out and says why they are arresting Davis Chilchil and Wanjoy Gedaya, the UDA communications director. If it is a kidnap, we demand that all the security agencies be put out and recover them and, for, and, and uh, give back to this country and to the UDA and Hustler Nation, Wanjoy Gedaya and Davis Chilchil. This is unfortunate. They started a long time ago by pressuring us, to, by making sure that we, they, they claimed that we would not be on the ballot. That was two years ago. Then they went to all these arrest things on corruption. That did not work. A few, uh, just a few days before this election, they told us they have the system and the deep state. That did not work. Now the results are here on the UDA portal. All you need to do is do mathematics. Even forget our tallying system. Just do plus one plus one. One plus one will always be two. It will never be 11. Just add up your math and you know who has won this election. Just uh, uh, four days ago, they broke into the room of Mike Kirui. Mike Kirui is a technical assistant of Davis Chilchil. And they went away with laptops. They took away bed sheets. I don't know what bed sheets. They, maybe they thought bed sheets have some hidden servers. They took away, they took away even spoons from that house at, at a place on Kiambu Road. That has passed on to be recovered today. Innocent people. Enjoy Gidai, the UDA communications director, whose only mistake is having a job. And Davis Chilchil, whose only mistake is being the chief of staff. By the way, Davis Chilchil is not only, an, uh, is not only part of, our, of the campaign, but he is the chief of staff of the deputy president of Kenya. It is not a, a simple matter to ignore. We demand that a statement from the Ministry of Interior and from the uh, IG of police immediately be put out to put us at rest. Otherwise, we are going to be taking further steps so as to ensure the safety of those two gentlemen. Thank you very much. good. The race is still on right here in Kenya, as you know that the country is waiting with collected beta breath to know who their next president is. And right now we are at Kenya Kwanzaa Communication Headquarters at the 
Is it called the Catholic University? Yeah, the Catholic. The Catholic University right here in Nairobi, where we'll be speaking to Dennis Atumbi. Now, Dennis Atumbi is the strategic, well, the digital strategic manager of uh, Bruto's campaign. So, Dennis, good evening. Thank you for joining us. What is the update? Thank you very much. Welcome to Kenya and welcome to the Catholic Thank University. You. Unfortunately, we meet at a time when we are trying to locate some of our staff who are missing a few minutes before this interview. They are leaving Bomas of Kenya where the national tally is being conducted and uh, they went missing. We are therefore demanding that the local authorities here ensure that we get them back. Normally during an arrest, your phones don't go off. But immediately after this arrest, one of our staff was speaking to one of us and the phone just went off trail. We thought maybe the charge has gone off, so we called the people who they were with, but we can't find the driver, we can't find the chief of staff of the deputy president, and we can't find the UDA communications director, Andre Gedai. So we are therefore calling for their immediate tracing from the um, security here. And let's stop the desperation. It's just an election. Now people have voted. We are just counting. Everybody should just relax. Everything is fine. There is no point of getting into all this kind of thing. Has anything of this sort ever happened before? Never heard of, at least for the elections where I have been mature and uh, been an adult to witness, never seen or heard of anything like that. But would you say that this election is free? Is it fair? Is it transparent? Absolutely. Um, as for free, fair and transparent, I will leave it to the IBC. But as for from where we sit, because we have run a national tally, we, we, we believe that everything has been done above board till now. So, and we, I mean, we've run a tally center. The only party with a tally center is actually this party. The other side does nothing like a tally center. They're just picking figures from everywhere. So what I can say at this point is uh, we, we believe in the numbers that have been put out by IBC in their portal. We've done the calculations. We've done the additions and we invite everybody else to do their calculations. And, and for IBC, because they're just following the law to announce the results, I, I, we are sure by the end of this week. Okay. now. I would like to ask you particularly the reason why you would have your own tally center. Is it to verify the figures that the IEBC will be actually releasing? Does it help in verifying? Why we have our own tally center is because IEBC, after the 2017 Supreme Court decision, will not announce results until they get all the physical forms. So, because naturally you have agents to monitor your figures, they give us the figures as they come in. So why we have our tally center, and this means that now we have had five by elections from 2017, which we have had our own tally centers, is to ensure that the numbers we are getting is what IABC is putting out. It's just a comparative tally center. And so far from the one, at least the one constituency that has been announced officially by IABC, it clearly shows that the, the, our tally and IABC tally is consistent, at least for the one announced. We'll be looking at all the others that are announced to see whether indeed they fit. Okay, now, yesterday when I was out and about uh, at the different uh, polling st tallying stations, we came across one tallying station at the Upper Hill School. Very disturbing one I saw there. Ballot boxes lying all over, people got desperate, they had been waiting from 3 a.m. And as of the time that I was there, it was about 7 p.m. in the evening. Tired and probably negligent. One of the boxes even had a seal that was broken. Would you have uh, knowledge of what is happening there? And if so, what will be the way forward? Well, I would leave that uh, because I don't have the... Uh, it's good that you've raised the issue. I'll check it up. We can have another chat, maybe in another 30 minutes. Then I can be able to check with our ground teams what's happening at Upper Hill. But as for the ballot boxes strewn everywhere and number of people coming in, I would assume those are the, uh, the poly, presiding officers at the polling station going to the constituency tallying center with the ballots that have already been counted. And therefore, they are taking it up there so that you fill a certain form called 34B, which is a clear record of all the results announced in the different polling stations. But because I do not have the details of that specific polling center, you give me a few times so I can verify with our ground teams and then I'm able to speak to you. All right, so what is Kenya Kwanzaa expecting? In the next few days, I'm sure we'll have the announcement, as Kenyans would know who their next fifth presidential uh, leader would be. Well, we are confident. We are happy. We've done our campaigns. We've sold our plan. We hear what the final result will be. As you all well know, that is actually regarded one of the most important elections in the year of 2022. So stay with us as we continue to give you more updates.